Hi, boys and girls. Today, for our art project, we are doing a painting to go along with the story Mouse Paint. We will be creating some blobs of paint, just like in the story. So for this lesson, we're going to talk about the primary colors, and here they are. Primary colors, the three basic colors used to create all other colors, includes red, yellow, and blue. So red, yellow, and blue are called the primary colors. But first, we need to put our name on the back of our paper using a pencil. Now, on the front of the paper, that's where we'll be using the paint. But let's just review for a minute. When we are ready to rinse out our paint brushes today, do you remember this part? You swish, swish, swish the brush on the bottom and wipe it gently on the side of the cup. Never tap the paint brush. Remember how you hold the paintbrush by the gripper? And we want to try to paint with the tip of the paintbrush, not with it laying on its side. We paint with the tip of the paintbrush. All right, so I'm going to come around and squirt a tiny drop of yellow on your paper. We'll use yellow as the first primary color. Hold your brush by the gripper, dip it in the yellow, and paint just a blob or a shape like a splatter of paint on your paper and then dip it in the middle and fill it in with yellow. So now you have a yellow blob of paint on your paper. Take that paintbrush and swish it around. Don't pick your cup up. I am picking my cup up in the video so you can see it, but you need to leave your cup on the table. And remember to wipe it on the side. Now if you swipe it on a piece of paper, you can tell if it's clean or not. If it's clean, then you're ready for the next color. We're going to do red second. So I will be putting a little blob of red. Dip your brush in. Paint your shape. This is called an organic shape. Now notice here, I ran out of paint. I didn't have enough to fill it in. But I can magically make more paint if I dip my brush in the water. It's going to make my red paint go a little bit further. So if you don't have enough paint to fill in your shape, what do you do? You just dip the tip of your brush in the water and that is going to make that paint flow a little bit better. So I'm ready to rinse. Swish, swish. Wipe it gently on the side. Test it on the paper to see if it's clean. And now I'm ready for the third primary color. What is it? It's blue. If you said blue, you're correct. So once again, hold it like a pencil. Paint your organic shape, your blob, your little splat of paint, and fill it in. Now on this blue one, I notice that it's really wet and juicy in the middle. I have extra paint. So you know what I'm going to do to solve that problem? I am going to make this paint blob a little bit bigger. So if you have enough paint in the middle, you can make it bigger. And remember, if you don't have enough paint, what do you do? You add a little tiny bit of water. So rinse it out, swish, 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 wipe it gently on the side of the cup, swish it again if it's not clean, wipe it gently, and test it to see if your brush is clean enough to go to the next color. Well, now it's time for the fun part. We're going to do a little color mixing. I'm going to take yellow and red and put it on your paper, and you are going to stir them together to see what happens. <gasps> Look what it created. It created a new color. This is called a secondary color. Orange is a secondary color. It's what you get when you mix yellow and red together. Well, let's try next yellow and blue over here. A little bit of yellow, a teeny drop of blue. Blue is darker, so it's very strong. That's why I used a teeny dot. What did I get? What's that color called? Green. Green is a secondary color. You get green when you mix yellow and blue. Ooh, I like that. So rinse, swish, 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 wipe it gently on the side of the cup, test it out to see if it's clean. And now let's try right here. We'll take red and blue, a drop of red, a little drop of blue, and we're gonna stir them together. Did you guess what it's gonna become? It became purple. Red plus blue equals purple. And in this video, I know it looks super dark. It makes a very dark purple. So spread that out and make a purple paint blob for your little mice to play in. So what did we do today? We took the primary colors, we mixed them together, and we came up with the secondary colors. 
purple, orange, and green. Purple, orange, and green are the secondary colors. Next time you come to art, we'll make some little mice for our painting. Thanks for being great listeners. Have a great day.